in the gate. And they're off. Bit of a slow start for my sweet addiction. So to America from the inside post. Not so for Yahilla, who steps out to take the lead early on. And for the far outside, gold medal dancer tries to get a forward spot. And Frivolous is between those two. And so those three head of the clubhouse turn. Yahilla down on the inside with Frivolous running in second. Gold medal dancer three wide third. My sweet addiction has raced up to be fourth on the extreme outside. Meanwhile, Sheer Drama angles over toward the rail, saves ground racing fourth around that first turn. My Sweet Addiction is back into fifth. Pearl Turn is sixth. Tis Windy is seventh. Glory's Last Chance is eighth by three. And America's at the back of the pack about 10 lengths behind after a first quarter in 23 and three for the seconds. Heading up the back stretch, Yehoa is the leader with Frivolous in pursuit on the outside, just a half a length behind with five for lungs to go. And these two are three lengths clear of gold medal dancer on the outside in third. Sheer Drama's drafting toward the rail from fourth, only about four lengths to make up with a half mile to go. My Sweet Addiction stuck wide on the far turn two. Pearl turns to her inside, then it's Tiz Windy. The rest have to get going. America is another eight lengths back and about 15 behind on the far turn. Glory's last chance tails out to trail the field. Round the far turn, Frivolous going head to head with Yahilwa. Sheer Drama's looming in behind from third. Tiz Windy's putting in a far turn bid now. Roll Rolling up to be fourth under the whip. And from the back of the pack, America's picking through the pack with a big move on the turn still with eight lengths to make up, though. Top of the stretch, and it is Frivolous with a tenuous lead. Yahua fighting on toward the rail. Here comes Sheer Drama angling toward the outside, and Tiz Windy's coming, too. Down to the final 16th, Frivolous, one length lead. Sheer Drama, Tiz Windy, second and third, chasing Frivolous down to the wire. Frivolous on top at 32 to 1. Over sheer drama, Tiz Windy America and Yahilwa. Upset in the Fleur de Lis, frivolous. A victory here, and she is in the Longines Breeders' Cup distance. As we mentioned in the post parade, her best race of her career and her worst race of her career came right here last fall. The best race, winning the Fall City Handicap. Last out in the La Troine, she finished ninth, beat 20 links. Her trainer, Victoria Oliver, said she came back the next day. She was kind of glazed over, not herself in the paddock. She came back the next day with a temperature. And as we mentioned earlier, she expected, Victoria Oliver, her trainer, expected her to run much better tonight. Tell you what, this five-year-old mare has been very kind to those betters who are confident in her. Last fall when she won the Fall City, 19 to 1. And now she does it again at 32 to 1. Blind siding, chalk players, frivolous, pick them up, deep stretch, and there she is, one off the rail, green cap, green and white colors, responding to the uh, right-handed drive of John Court. Almost the exact uh, uh, format in which she used to win last fall here. Late second early, stopped the early leader, took command, and the, and the lead was changed when My Sweet Addiction didn't break real well, so she had the perfect strip in the catbird seat, took the lead and drew off in the stretch, and, and what's really special about this is her trainer, Victoria Oliver, trains for her father, Watts Humphrey, who owns this field. Main difference, last fall she was in a very slow-paced race in the Fall City. This one with Yahilwa out front, even though My Sweet Addiction didn't break, they were moving along. Three quarters and one, ten and four. The track is not that fast, so the fast pace helped her chances here this time. Frivolous. And she is in with this victory in the Fleur de Lis, a Breeders' Cup Challenge event. She is in and qualifies for the Longines Breeders' Cup Distaff October 30th for the first time in its history at Keeneland Racecourse in Lexington, Kentucky. We'll be right back.